Hello Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your reading. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces out there. So just keep that in mind. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed, liked, or commented on my videos recently. I really appreciate it. I've read all of your comments, and even though it's starting to get to the point where I can't respond to all of them, I do read them. So thank you so much, Spirit. What messages do you have for my Pisces regarding love? Messages regarding love for my Pisces, please. Full disclosure, I have combined two Oracle decks, the Enchanted Map Oracle cards and the Energy Oracle cards. And I have reduced the decks because I needed them to be smaller so I could shuffle. So I have taken out any cards that maybe weren't as clear. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Time is fluid, so this could have already happened. We currently happen, happening, sorry, or happen in the near future. And the energies can be vice versa. So feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. If this does not resonate with you, then check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more. I think we're ready to go, Pisces. There are messages for Pisces, please, in regards to love. What does Pisces need to know? Regards, well, messages for my Pisces. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> what does Pisces need to know in regards to love? Peaks of joy. Okay, so this card is very, card about happiness, joy. Almost like the sun card in the tarot. So that's a good start. What else? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to take these, even though there's too many, but we're just going to go with it. Storm warning. Okay. Feel like a storm could be brewing here. Ride the wave. Interesting. And wishing well. Interesting. Okay, so wishing well definitely is all about making a wish for something you, tr you really want. I'm going to look at Ride the Wave just to see what that could mean. <clears throat> you can ride the wave of abundance. All your talents coupled with your hopes and dreams will carry you forward. Interesting. You're definitely on the right path. Well, that's great. I think that goes really well here with wishing well. Just look at wishing well real quick too. An aha moment. The wishing well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings. Okay, I love that energy. So let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about in regards to love for you, Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. In regards to love. Man, I just saw the Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Messages for Pisces, please. Magician and Ace of Pentacles. That really is making me think about wishing well and ride the wave. Wave of abundance. I'm getting the sense of just go with it. Messages for Pisces in regards to love. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know in regards to love? Messages for Pisces. Oh, there's the sun. In regards to love. All right, Pisces, let's see what we got for you guys. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? For love, thank you. Page of Wands. Interesting. I feel like I have such positive oracle cards and then this one storm warning. Page of Wands, Four of Swords. So someone definitely feels a spark of some sort here, but maybe they're not ready to act on it with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is all about healing from a situation, kind of taking time for yourself. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Feeling left out, left behind, shut out. I also get the sense of loneliness too with the Five of Pentacles, but it's more about loss. 
um, in, uh, not feeling secure, hardships, like mostly financial, but also just feeling kind of like you're doing it all on your own and, and struggling. It's just a card all about struggle. What messages do you have for Pisces, please, Barry, in regards to love? Some of you could be feeling left out in your relationship, maybe not speaking about how you truly feel here. Four of Cups, another four. Interesting. So I definitely am getting the sense that kind of like discontentment um, boredom no interest lack of interest here I'm getting what else for Pisces I am going to clarify all of these with a different deck that's too many but I'm just going to take it because I'm not going to fight with my cards today I've decided Knight of Swords a message coming in of some sort Queen of Pentacles Hmm. Almost like opposite energies here with the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Definitely an offer here. I, put the, I feel like putting these two together, the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess. There's something here that's not being said with the Four of Swords and the High Priestess. Someone wants to make an offer here knight of swords page of pentacles but i think they're not speaking because i think they either can feel your lack of interest or they worry that you won't accept something like that is what i'm ge i'm getting but there's definitely a spark here chemistry attraction for some of you this person is younger almost immature or like they don't they don't know what they're doing <laughs> but I am getting um high priestess almost like this person is has not communicated or, or there's almost like a secret vibe that I'm getting here I feel like the storm warning oracle card is more about actually let me look before I say anything I'm almost getting this sense of like an unexpected surprise or something like that uh, potential difficulty the difficulties coming closer be conscious but not fearful even the worst storm passes interesting so I definitely feel like whatever offer is coming in there'll be some sort of obstacle to overcome here Help me clarify these messages for Pisces in regards to love. Messages for Pisces, please, for love. Messages for Pisces, please, in regards to love. I feel like this is slow, a slow offer, yeah. Five of Wands, okay. There's the storm warning. I feel like whatever interest or attraction is going on. There's either competition or drama surrounding it. Almost like someone's not happy about this or there's disagreements or just gossip happening as well regarding this. High Priestess has come out again. I feel like this could also be behind your back. Someone's talking crap about you behind your back, about your relationship, about something here or this person whether it's you or them has a situation going on in their life where things are kind of unstable um there's conflict here but i feel like this person's either keeping this from you or you just don't know about it i have knight of pentacles under the deck so again a slow offer here but i definitely see it tell me about the four of swords Okay, hold on. The world. So with the world and four of swords, definitely, um, I feel like this is healing energy here and it's almost like it, it's 
you've been through a lot, either you or this other person, and you're ready for a new cycle in your life. Why the, why the world for Pisces? Why is the world here, Spirit for Pisces? Thank you. Knight of Swords, again, justice. I feel like someone's coming in to try to make things right here. It could be a Libra, someone with Libra in their chart. But more than anything, I'm seeing someone's rushing in to balance the situation. It could be someone that hurt you, Pisces. Knight of Swords uh, twice here, High Priestess twice. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. Definitely a new start. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles good? This person could have shut you out or you could have shut out this person in the past or currently. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Pisces? Two of Swords, feeling stuck, unsure, unable to make a decision. Why the Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords? Maybe some of you are deciding whether to let this person back in or not. Maybe there's too much drama, too much storms. But the rest of these Oracle cards, I feel like you... The way that this spread is kind of progressing here. There's a, there's a change here. A message of some sort that comes in to change your mind. You're getting like a wish granted here. That's going to make you very happy, but it's not without difficulty. Why the Two of Swords for Pisces? <laughs> two of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely you're thinking about something. Weighing your options. I, I'm getting the sense with the devil under the deck. Some of you feel trapped. Unable to move, make a decision. Yeah. You're waiting for something with the Three of Wands, maybe. Waiting for a message to come in. Waiting for, for the shoe to draw for results of something. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Okay. This is too many, so I'm going to put these back. Ten of Swords. Ending. Betrayal. Pain. The end of a cycle here, definitely with the world and the Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords under the deck, which was one of the cards that I picked up from the stack that fell out. Why are you so undecisive? Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Tell me about this Ten of Swords spirit. Pisces. Hmm, I'm finding it really hard to shuffle. Six of Wands. Okay. I feel like you're unsure about a decision because you don't realize that it's going to bring you success. Since you know we we can't predict the future, it's like you're debating what to what decision to make. But I feel like this is Spirit's reassurement, reassuring you that you will be you will be successful. You will be recognized. Victory. But it's coming because of an ending, because of an end of a cycle here. I feel like the cycle, the ending here is the feeling of being left out, shut out, and having to go through such a hard time with the Five of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Whoa. The sun came out. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. Something, you're going to get an offer of some sort. Whoa. Hold on. Wow. Okay. The Devil and the Three of Wands, like, fell on the floor. I'm going to take them because they came out before. They were at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're waiting... For an offer to get you out of this five of cups energy and here it is knight of pentacles it's taking its sweet time to you i'm gonna take oh my god ten of cups too holy crap okay hold on 
Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting to get out of this funk, Pisces, with the Five of Cups and the Devil here. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Um, but more than anything, I'm getting that you've been waiting for the results or some of something, waiting for a message, um, and you're going to get it with the Knight of Pentacles. It's going to bring you happiness and family and, and just peaks of joy that we have over here. I feel like this is something with um, wishing well and ride the wave. It's almost like spirit is saying, just go with it. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's the Knight of Swords here? What message is coming? The Magician. Again, you've manifested this. This is something you've been... Whoa. Just way too many. This is something you've been wanting for sure. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Temperance. Again, with waiting. Yeah, you've been waiting for this. Sign of Sagittarius. Again, with the balance here, we have temperance and justice. I have five of swords under the deck. It could also be that you've been waiting for justice. Waiting for something to be made right. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. She, whoa. Oh my God. What is going on? Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that. My cards just want to fly out sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, like I was saying, <laughs> tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. So she's someone, usually she's in a committed relationship. She's very stable, secure. Death just came out. Sign of Scorpio. For some of you, a small number of you, not everyone, you're getting out of a marriage. There's a death to a committed relationship here, the ending of a committed relationship here. For some of you, you're waiting for this person to get out of a committed relationship. Ten of Wands under the deck, so definitely an ending here. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Yeah, some of you are waiting for someone to get out of a committed relationship to make an offer here. Could be you, could be the other person. I think that's why we have so much drama. I feel like something, there's going to be a shakeup because someone's going to make a decision that was unexpected. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Whoa. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles and the, oh my God. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Fool under the deck. This is not someone from your past. This is new love, a new offer coming in. You don't know this person, I feel. I feel like some of you don't know this person or don't know that this person feels this way for you. Fool under the deck. This person's going to take a leap of faith and the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune and Eight of Cups. This person's going to take a leap of faith here. They're going to leave something behind. They're going to move forward with Cancer here. Or, sorry, the Chariot, sign of Cancer. They're going to talk about what they feel because they feel something very strongly for you with the king of swords and the knight of pentacles and there you are pisces moon i feel like you don't know that this is coming your way you have it's like you have no clue but even though there's going to be some difficulty here with the storm warning you're going to be extremely happy with this with this offer and I think like Spirit's saying, just go with it. Just trust and let go and enjoy the ride. That's an awesome, and I just feel like such an awesome energy for you guys, which is very exciting. I, I mean, this is definitely a new love here. Something you've been waiting for and wishing for. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. Let me know down in the comments what this situation is all about, if it resonated with you. If it did not resonate with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. But feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. I'll see you guys in my next video.